I'm really excited for this one. Right now in the middle of a pandemic, I don't want to be reading about a deadly virus that makes people kill each other. Do you see why I love this box? Brown paper package is tied up with string. These are a few of my favourite things. Hello, I'm Charlotte and this is Books and Bargains. Today I'm coming to you with a video that I have been working on for a little while but editing it has been an absolute nightmare and I should have been more organised from the start. I'm going to hold my hands up and say that. I had a few weeks early on in this pandemic where I was working ridiculously long hours and wanted to treat myself. I also wanted to support some independent businesses and without being able to get out and about and do my usual book shopping, I decided to support a few book subscription boxes. I think that I signed up for 10 in total, but only nine had arrived by the time I filmed in this video. I really don't know what happened to the 10th. I'm still trying to chase up why that never arrived. However, I have done a bit of a vlog style opening of all these and I wish that I'd have had the foresight to take some pictures when I open them. Um, on some of them I've mentioned costs of the box and others I haven't, but all the information will be linked in the description bar. And at the very end of the video, I'm going to talk you through which boxes I loved, which I didn't, and which were just kind of in the middle. I think there's different boxes that are great for different things, and I haven't planned this video. I'm literally just going to sit and talk about them. So this is off the top of my head, which ones have been memorable to me and which ones haven't. So let's get into the vlog style wrap up. So I'm sitting on the floor to film this bit of the video because it's just easier with showing you the boxes. So the first box that I have to share with you is the Feline and Fiction box. Now this is either my third or fourth box. And after the first box, I signed up for a six month subscription. So that shows you already how much I enjoy this box. Um, Feline and Fiction costs £15 a month plus postage, I think. I'll put all the details below and shall I show you what I got this month this is the June's box July has already sold out so if you want to get one you have to be quick but like I say I'll put all the details below the first thing that came in this month's box actually didn't fit in the box and it is this beautiful assassin bell lunch box with a cat on it and for the first time this month there is a little menu inside of what's included inside the box I don't tend to look at these to be honest I like to just dig in and go in blind but it's there if you want it so we have this beautiful little packet of stickers I got this beautiful bunting which I cannot wait to put up on here and it has just got these cats on it and that is from so me up duck I will link the details to them below they are on Instagram and yeah cannot wait to get that hung up the book included this month is Real Pet Detective and it's True Tales of Pets Lost and Found by Tom Watkins. You all know that I'm a sucker for a book with a cat on the front. So again, another reason why I love the feline and fiction box. And the last thing for me in this box is this cute little toothbrush holder, again from Sass and Belle. Now, I have an electric toothbrush, so I don't think it will fit in here, but it will adorn my shelves. Love, love Lily. Don't know if that's even a word. Oh, actually, I'm pretty sure that's not a word. And then for my cats, I have Meowing Heads Poor Licking Chicken. This is a sachet. I've saved a sachet from last month as well. Obviously, I have two cats and I can't give one a nice posh sachet without the other. So they'll both get one. Now I've opened this. We have some Garfield Kitty Bix catnip biscuits, which... I will go and give to the boys in a little bit. And the last thing is this cute little starfish toy. Ernie always plays with toys. Bert is not a big toy fan. And yet in Feline and Fiction Box two months ago, we got a little koala and he has not let it go. He has pulled all the stuffing out of it, but he plays with his koala every single day. He puts it in his water bowl. He brings it up to me and he is obsessed with that thing. So we will see who takes a shine to this one. So that was everything in the feline and fiction box for July. The second book that I got in June is the Books That Matter box. And 
I, how do I put this? I was really intrigued by this book, box because it's a feminist book subscription. But as I'm someone that doesn't buy new books, I've signed up for a three month subscription and I've had a box before and if I was someone that regularly bought new books anyway I think that I would like this more but this box was a little bit disappointing to me um, it had been really bigged up as being a woman's prize fiction one and the book that has come with it I think is fantastic but I think this book is £18 a month plus postage and Apart from the book, the other things in this box don't really interest me and so I don't think it was worth the money. So let's start off with the book which is An American Marriage by Tiari Jones. I've heard a lot about this on booktube and I've wanted to read it for a while. It was on my Amazon wish list, so that is definitely a selling point for this box. It was the winner of the Women's Prize for Fiction 2019 and I'm looking forward to diving into that. It also came with two bookmarks, this one and a beautiful one that said Bloom on it, which I can't find. I know I was using it in one of my books, but I can't locate it at this time. It also came with this beautiful tote bag, which I do absolutely love. It has all the women's prize for fiction authors written on it. See if you can show you a bit closer. And yeah, I think that's gorgeous. And then the last few things are things that I was a little bit disappointed by because I wouldn't personally spend my money on these. The first of these is Millie Marota's Beautiful Birds and Treetops Treasures colouring book, which is a gorgeous little colouring book, but I just don't colour. It's not one of the crazies that I've ever gotten into. I've bought several colouring books and I just, it's just not for me. So I will be passing that on to a friend. The second thing is this key ring from Flamingo Candles and I obviously, honestly just think that it feels really cheap and again that's not something that I would buy. And then the last thing is this reading journal and it just says she would read books as one would breathe air and fill up and live. And again I like the quote but a reading journal is just not something I use. That's the Books That Matter box, so I'm not overly impressed with that box. And the last one I signed up for is A Date Night With A Book. It says on here that the genre I've gone for is Surprise. Now this is £13.95 a month, including postage, and you get tea, hot chocolate, a coaster, a bookmark and a book. And when you sign up, they ask you to tell them your five favourite books. Now, I can't remember what I put, but I'm really excited to open this and see if they've picked one that is my kind of thing. So, it's so beautifully packaged though, I almost don't want to open it. So with it, I have got a sachet of Options Hot Chocolate. I have got two Earl Grey tea bags. I have this little floral coaster, which I'm not sure is needed with this subscription. And then I have this sweet little bookmark, but I'm going to get into the thing that I'm most excited for, the book. So the book that I have received, how do I put this? I'm slightly disappointed because I only just paid for this one on Amazon and this was only £2 from Amazon. So... It, it feels unfair for me to say that I'm disappointed, but I've just paid £14 for a book that I got for £2 off Amazon, and that is Seven Days by Alex Lake. Now, if I hadn't just bought this book, I would be really excited by it because it's one that I've wanted to read for a while, but having it £2 in Amazon and the works has made me feel a little bit iffy. And so, you join me on the floor again. I've just got in from work and after a 12 and a half hour shift I've come home to my package from the barista's book chamber. The outside of the packaging was really wet, that's not their fault, that is English weather. So I've just got the inside, I opened it, it, it comes in like the packages that you get from Amazon with the bit that rips down the side and as I opened it I knew that this came with chocolate and I was expecting a small bar of chocolate and look. This is the Montezuma's Black Forest Cherry Dark Chocolate. I haven't tried this one, but I love cherries, so I couldn't have got a better chocolate. When I signed up for this box, so this one was £45 for three months, and that's including postage, so this is £15 a month. And the Barista's Book Chamber is a small business that I love to support because they have a shop in 
Matlock, which is the main one, and they also have a shop in Retford, which is the which is the barista in Wonderland. So yeah, that was my Black Forest chocolate. And then there is this little pouch, and I could smell this before I even got into the box. And it's this little sack full of um, blueberry rubus, and and that smells divine. And then onto the book, it is wrapped up in string, which I always love. And it's a little postcard with Winnie the Pooh on, and it just says, happy reading. So, again, this is a book that I already own, and I haven't read. I've heard that it's amazing. So, this is The Girl of Ink and Stars. Again, it's not their fault. This is just what happens with subscription boxes but yeah I would have been I am happy to receive that one it's not like the last box where I was really disappointed with the book that I got I do think that this is going to be a great book so I think this is box number four that I've unboxed and this is the book and tea box I'm just going to open it up so there's a little card in here that says we hope you live it as much as we do We'd love you to share your unboxing with us. And they've got their social links there. It says, you've got book mail. My tea flavours lavender and chamomile, which I picked myself. And I'm really looking forward to that. And I've got an oat crumble and chocolate cookie. And it was handcrafted by Jamie. So I love these little details. The box itself has come wrapped like so. So I have these three borders biscuit. I have this. It's the Leafy Tea Company lavender and chamomile infusion i might go and have one of those before i go to bed today and then the book itself is wrapped up as well and it has this oh look i need to do a close-up of this can you see here it's a little book charm oh that is so cute i have a bookmark which says so please, oh please, we beg, we pray, go throw your TV set away and in its place you can install a lovely bookshelf on the wall and that is a roll Dahl quote. And then another, I love all these little notes, it says, why you all love it, is there anything better than a steaming cup of tea, rainy afternoon and Marion Keys? It's a combination that's so hard to beat, so go ahead and enjoy. <gasps> well, that excites me, I haven't read a Marion Keys but I've been meaning to. So this is Marion Keys, The Other Side of the Story, which I think is a standalone. So yeah, I'm looking forward to reading that. And that box has been a success. I can't off the top of my head think what price it was, so I'll put it down here somewhere. I could have sworn that I'd already shared this box with you, but can't find the footage. So I'm going to share it again now. This box is from A Box of Stories. Congratulations, you've uncovered four hidden gems and saved four amazing books from being lost forever. Happy reading. One box, infinite possibilities. So, from what I can gather for this one, it's books that otherwise would have been pulped. So I don't know whether it's that they didn't make it. I don't know. Anyway, so I picked up the mixed fiction box, I think. And the first one I got was, it started with a tweet by Annabelle, and that says, can Daisy log off for love? Could you survive a digital detox? The next one, this is not one that I would have picked up, and it says it's Connect. And even the blurb doesn't really tell me much about it, but it says that it's a work of genius. It confronts and explores the nature of humanness and existence, and... This is one of those massive, chunky paperbacks, which, again, wouldn't normally pick up, but looking forward to getting into it. I then got Mr. Peacock's Possession by Lydia Sison. Now, this is a historical fiction, which generally isn't my thing, but I don't know. It's a family of settlers have struggled to make a remote volcanic island their home. At last a ship appears and a vulnerable boy vanishes. And it says it's intimate, intense and beautifully realised. This is a novel of power, faith and the liberating loss of innocence. 
so I'm going to see how I go with that one. And then the last one in this book, I will not be reading at the moment, but I would like to read it sometime, and it is Ghost Virus, and it says, A young woman pours acid over her own body, a loving husband kills his wife, a head teacher throws her pupils out of a window, DS Jerry Pardo and DS Jamila Patel of Tooting Police are at a loss. Why are such violent crimes being committed by the most unlikely of people? A deadly virus? It's like, right now in the middle of a pandemic, I don't want to be reading about a deadly virus that makes people kill each other. So, but I do want to read that one. So those four books, there's not any of those that I think, no, I don't want to read any of them. And I haven't heard of any of them. So it's possibly a really good way to discover new authors and save books. It's very environmentally friendly. So another book has arrived today and this is my subscription from the Willoughby Book Club. The Willoughby Book Club is actually local to me. It's based near Wigston, I think. Um, and this is just a book subscription box. So this one has none of the bits and pieces that the others have. And I can't remember what book I signed up for, whether it was the YA or the fiction. I'll have to check that out. But let's see what I got this month. So it comes wrapped up in this gorgeous little box and I've also got a voucher for £10 off Bloom and Wild. It says, oh I have, I have a gorgeous little bookmark there as well. I don't know why my camera's a bit fuzzy today. Is that any better? Don't know. So yes, I signed up for a three month young adult. So you could send this as a gift to someone and it comes with this little card. So yeah, let's see what book I got. So I got Moxie, which is a book that I've already read and loved. I might be doing a giveaway with that, but that would have been a fantastic book if I hadn't already read it. I've started to think going forward with these subscription boxes that the problem is when you're someone that has as many books as I do, you're always going to, I think this is my third book that I've already read that I've got this month. So they're probably more suited for people that don't read as much as I do. But yeah, that would have been a fantastic book. Good morning. So I have literally just got up. But there was a knock at the door and it was my pre-loved books box and I just couldn't wait to dive into this so I thought I'd show it you. Firstly it came with this little note so it says we're pre-loved book box you've got a gift we hope you have your new books approximately 320 million books are discarded annually all of our books are rescued from going to landfill or are donated they're imperfectly perfect so this sounds right up my street as my kind of book and it says your books were handpicked by us based on the genre chosen by your gift giver and it says hi charlotte if you would like your subscribers if you would like your subscribers can use the code charlotte20 to get 20% off their first transaction on crate joy so i'll pop that in the description box for you right so inside it just comes with all these cute little bits so before i even take it out the box i can just see all of this so i've got a little pin badge oh they've spoiled me they put on their instagram that they had these cute cat bookmarks i'm really sorry if you can hear that outside i don't know what my neighbors are doing a little green tea with lemon oh my god look at those i've never seen anything that cute before a little cat pen an eco-friendly bamboo toothbrush some amazingly cute cat bookmarks hi oh, let the books out oh wow so there's five books i was expecting there to be four and looking at these i don't think i've heard of any of them right so i have got ragdoll by daniel cole one body six victims no suspects haven't heard of that one but it sounds right up my street josephine cox the broken man haven't heard of that one. Oh, okay so it says on the front of this this is the girl from lace island and it says congratulations you're one of 
one out of ten lucky dip winners to have won a free extra book well never gonna say no to an extra book and that is the girl from lace island by joanna rees guess what never heard of that one but it sounds good then i have dick francis shattered i've heard of dick francis but haven't read anything by him and then the last one okay so this does look absolutely beautiful and this is the crime jk rowling's the crimes of grindelwald original screenplay this will probably be either donated to my charity shop or given away because i don't want to support this person anymore however this is not a new book this is rescued from donations so yes if anybody would like that book let me know and i will send that to you for the postage cost or i may put it in a giveaway i don't know so yeah i'm really impressed with that book box i've said in these little vlogs before these are literally just me opening them stay tuned till the end and there'll be a rundown what i'm gonna stay subscribed to etc so i'm in the middle of a hot flush but another book box has just arrived and this is from the words and kisses book club this is a romance book book subscription and it says this book is the romance we need in 2020 and proof that sometimes good things can come out of twitter who knew hope you love it amy so it also comes with a doisy and dam dark chocolate with goji and orange which i'm looking forward to getting into so let's open this i love the little packaging and the words and kisses on here oh so this is the boyfriend project mine's got a little bit bent in the post which i think is because this doesn't come in a box like a lot of the other subscriptions it just comes wrapped um but yeah i'm looking forward to reading that and so after you've seen me open all of them i want to talk about a few little bits so i'm gonna leave the best to last so i will talk about my absolute favorite box at the end but first i just want to give a few highly commended to a couple of boxes so two boxes that i want to say are absolutely brilliant for people that want to get into pre-loved books and saving books from being pulped saving books from the dump are the pre-loved books box and a box of stories i loved both of these boxes they both save unwanted books really and if it wasn't for the fact that i already own so many books and i go charity shopping so much then I would have stayed subscribed to both of those. There's quite a few boxes in this that I would have stayed subscribed to if A, I had more money and B, I didn't have so many books already. The two that I would definitely big up for supporting small are the Willoughby Book Club, which is based in Leicestershire and the Barista's Book Chamber, which is based in Matlock. Both semi-local to me and both really good value for money. Both of those you get a new book each month. And like I said earlier in the video, both of the books that I've had from them I already owned. But again, that's not their fault. That is just that I have so many books. I think both of those subscriptions would make a fantastic present, along with the Words and Kisses Club. So if they are my three top picks if you want to give a gift to someone. If I have some of these boxes, I have discount codes for, so I will put them in the description box. The book box I was most disappointed by is the Books That Matter box, and I feel really bad saying that. I thought the book choice was fantastic, and it's a feminist book subscription, but I thought all the stuff that came with it was completely unnecessary. This is why I would pick Willoughby Books or barrister's book chamber over that because the price is less because you don't get the extra stuff and all the stuff that I seem to get with the books that matter box was really low quality and so my number one book subscription box and the only one of these that I will be staying subscribed to is the feline and fiction box I absolutely love feline and fiction and was already subscribed to them before this video Feline and Fiction is great because I don't just get things for me, I get things for my cat as well and I get a book about a cat which 
is something that I love and don't have many of. Well, I say that I didn't, but I am starting to get a real collection now. My cats always love the treats that come with it and I get cat related memorabilia for myself. You know, everywhere in my house now I have cat stuff. In the kitchen I have a cat soap dispenser, in here I have cat cushion and all of these things generally came from the feline and fiction books. If you go over to my Instagram today there will be a giveaway from feline and fiction. It will be running for a week. This was not sponsored by them, this was for their birth for my birthday I reached out to them to ask if they'd like to collaborate in a giveaway so I don't want you to think that I'm just picking them because of this giveaway I'm not I absolutely love feline and fiction and will stay subscribed to them forever I think as well that they also have a subscription box now for dogs they also run little letterbox gifts so like I say, all the links will be in the description box. I hope you've enjoyed this video and let me know if you're going to subscribe to any of these boxes or if there's any that I haven't mentioned here that you think I should try out. Bye!